What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. So today I wanna do a wheel cleaner battle on the 2017 Audi S3. I have the uh, VMR wheels on it right here. So you guys can see these. I'm gonna change my uh, tires out today. So these are on NT01, some R compound, 100 tread wear, basically track autocross tires. I've been running these way too long. Um, as you can see, they're pretty, uh, pretty gross. They're suffering from a bit of DWS, dirty wheel syndrome. They're looking pretty freaking gross. Um, those are the fronts. Now these are ceramic coated. I did the ceramic coating from uh, Carbon Collective. And today I'm gonna be using some of the Carbon Collective React. This is a fallout remover. Pretty sure this is very close to CarPro's Iron X. Also, I think that it's uh, fairly close to the Sonax wheel cleaner. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna kinda have a battle between these two. A wheel cleaning battle, if you will. Dirty wheels first, just by spraying these on with no agitation. I'm gonna do that, not on these ones. These need a bit of agitation, as you can see. The rears are fairly clean. You can see some some dust build up down there, but you know, these ones shouldn't need uh, a lot of agitation. I think we can just spray and pray and kind of see how these go. Now, I do have a Sunjo power washer. I am not gonna use that at first. I'm just gonna go with the uh, regular hose nozzle because pretty much everybody has one of these at home. With the Sunjo power washer though, and just the regular little gray head, which is the 40 degree head, I'm actually able to clean wheels very well just with that, with no agitation and not even touching the wheels. Just pretty much pressure washing off the nastiness, the grime, the gunk. And if you guys drive an Audi, you know, these things, uh, they make quite a bit of brake dust. I actually just felt some rain. Obviously I got cleaning products out, so I just, felt one little drop of rain as it does and it's summertime guys it's it was 110 degrees out yesterday now now it wants to rain whatever okay so also i have my original black optics dynamic wheels which i'm gonna clean these up as well so these ones are not coated again the vmrs are coated with the carbon collective platinum wheel and these are non-coated these are just regular they kind of have like a matte finish but as you can see pretty freaking dirty so uh yeah we'll do these as well let's get down to it oh also guys i'm gonna be removing the wheels like i said uh they have a tool in the back of the trunk that's just like this little hook to get the wheel bolt covers off um that thing does not work that well what i actually found to work pretty easily is tire iron for a bicycle because it's made of plastic i can just kind of get in there from the side and boom like that if you have kind of like the pincher style one from audi if you have like an older audi or something like that then great but my tool doesn't work the best i've used it a few times and this seems to be uh this seems to work pretty easily so if you need something use one of these i'll put a link down below because it's a great tool for the bike and apparently it's a good tool for the car i'm gonna use the react on the left wheel over here and the Sonax on the right wheel over here. So just like this. These were uh, both of the front wheels on the Audi before I uh, took them off the car. As you can tell, they, tell they have excessive brake dust. These ones, uh, I'll probably agitate these ones a little bit uh, with a brush just to make sure that the product works well. After that, then we're gonna try it with no agitation. Same thing, use the React on the one on the left, and I'll use the Sonax on the one on the right. And without any agitation, I think these ones should clean up, because as you can see, not very dirty. You know, not very dirty, pretty even. And you can tell these ones are uh, pretty heavily coated um, in an equal manner. Had a little bit of trouble with the lid on this one, but now it's finally spraying, so we're going to apply this um, heavily all over the wheel, and basically it's gonna turn purple, um, just like the other wheel. Now this one, ooh, it actually has, this one kinda smells like grapes, which actually smells pretty nice. Kinda like a, uh, like a gra grape soda, if you will, which is cool because obviously it's already turning this, uh, grapey looking color so we're gonna make sure we get it all over the inside of the barrel there and you know that it's pretty well uh pretty thoroughly covered so that looks pretty good for this one all right now i'm gonna use the sonax 
Uh, same thing on this, we're just gonna cover it thoroughly. Now this one applies easily. Actually goes on green at first, which is kinda interesting. Now obviously this is a really uh, small can, so you know, I don't know how far this one's gonna go. This does not smell as good. Has kind of a uh, citrusy scent to it. it. Smells decent. It's way better than uh, CarPro's Iron X. That stuff's pretty gnarly. Um, but again, that's a good that's a good fallout rem remover as well, which is basically gonna take away um, iron deposits from the road, from dirty roads and stuff like that. So, okay, that has a green look. As you can tell, it's already turning purple. A little bit on this side, but that side's green. So we're gonna agitate these. I just have like a little Chemical Guys wheel brush. A little bit of agitation on here. And we'll just kind of clean it up, which I mean, agitation I feel like is kind of cheating. Um, that's why the other ones, I'm not gonna use agitation. I think that, you know, if you don't agitate the wheels, I think that it's gonna show more of how this wheel cleaner works because obviously I can miss some spots too when, when agitating the wheels. Um, and with the other stuff, you're just kind of seeing like the power of it before. But I know last time I did a wheel cleaner battle, uh, people did not like that I did not agitate it because it did say so in the instructions. But that's because I was just trying to get a idea of how the chemicals worked like alone without doing any type of agitation. Because to me, you basically want to, um, you know, have the easiest wheel cleaning experience possible. So uh, set it and forget it is, is kind of cool. Now you can see I'm pretty much cleaning off a lot of this area. Um, it looks, you know, pretty good. I'm gonna have to hit the uh, the inside of the barrel here. I'm gonna spin it around and hit the barrel, ride the barrel and get pitted. Whoop! Yeah, so pitted. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse the brush off real quick because I feel that uh, might have a little bit of an advantage with the, uh, the different types of material just kind of blending through on that Sonax. I feel like it's gonna be a little bit of a mix, so I'm gonna wipe that off. Okay, so you can see, it's pretty clean, not the cleanest, but again, this is a used brush, so even before, you know, this was already used, so I'm gonna agitate this one a bit. I don't know, might just be me, but I felt like the other stuff came off, but like it kind of got a little cleaner a little faster. I don't know. I can say as far as application goes, sprays and nozzle on this is fine. The aerosol on the Sonax is pretty cool. I do like that, but uh, that one's gonna go away a lot quicker. Obviously it's a smaller bottle, but I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna go as long, you know what I mean? I'm already flinging this up on me. Uh, you can see that this one's staying really purple when I'm washing on it. I guess it kind of went away up here. Um, I feel like that one kind of, the purple kind of went away a lot quicker than the Sonax, which may mean the Sonax is, I don't know, it either has like kind of more of a sticky property where it doesn't flow away, which could be, it could be kind of bad because, you know, if you don't get to them right away, the water could basically kind of just uh, stick to it. You know, you could get more stuck to the wheel, whereas I feel like if you're looking at this one, it's not purple anymore. You can see purple in a couple areas where it's still going away, but this one's still pretty purple, which I'm going to say is a lot of that iron stuff. Maybe um, Carbon Collective, maybe they put a little bit of their like react in it. Maybe there's some ceramic that uh, helps it kind of blow off of the wheel. That would be nice. I could totally see how that would be an advantage to cleaning, to cleaning the wheels. Hopefully I'm not boring you guys to death with cleaning the wheels, trying to make it as entertaining as possible. There we go. Okay, so agitated, agitated, Sonax, React. Kind of give you an idea. This is the way the React looks. As you can see, the spokes are, you know, pretty clean, not really any purple. Maybe a little bit of purple here because it's still got a little bit of the iron deposit. Um, and it kind of flowed off the wheel pretty well. This one is kind of sticky. This is, uh, I don't know, they're both kind of, both kind of sticky, both kind of watery, but you can see that this one's still really kind of purple and black. So, gonna be a hoser. And uh, again, I'm just using the garden hose. If I hit this with a power washer, I know that it's gonna look like spotless, but let's just kind of see. 
I'm not getting super close either. I'm gonna keep the same distance so you guys can kind of see. Kinda gotta get in the barrel, get pitted. Overall, both of the wheels look really clean, so. At first glance, um, you know, here, I probably didn't agitate there. As you can see, I probably agitated in these spots a little bit better. Uh, the Sonax, gosh, maybe I agitated a little better. I don't know, because some of the areas are dirty, but it looks it looks pretty dang good. I don't know, both wheel cleaners look really good. This one did leave a little bit of gumminess on here. Uh, that's some like thicker, tarry type substance. Don't know that we can really, you know, say anything bad about that. I don't know. Overall, for actually cleaning the wheels, I'm gonna have to say I give it a tie. As far as smell goes, the React definitely wins as far as the smell department. Um, I like, when I'm washing my car, I like to uh, smell some good smells when I'm detailing stuff. So that one's definitely winning in the smells department. As far as presentation of bottle, I don't think you guys can deny that the, uh, the Carbon Collective React looks way cooler than the Sonax. Sonex does have a little bit of Germany on it though, so that's kind of cool if you guys are into German vehicles. Let's do this without any agitation on these, and we're gonna see how this works. It's gonna be the same thing. I'll speed this up for you guys so you don't have to be bored by uh, staring at them. Sonax on the right, React on the left. The React turns purple right away. The other one has kind of a green look to it. Obviously sat a little less. So I sprayed this one second, but you can see it's pretty purple. These ones weren't as dirty. Um, here's the Sonax. It's still kind of green with a little bit of purple here. And this one's actually sat a bit longer, so that kind of purple reaction seems like it's happening quicker on the React. This one's still kind of going, so we'll do a little time lapse here. And uh, you guys can just stare at these wheels for a second. Ooh. Okay, so both these wheel cleaners have done their dwelling been about three and a half minutes this one's looking purple on the sonax area still got a bit of green the react is uh super purple pretty much just goes straight purple and it looks good now this is going to be with no agitation we're just going to spray these things down see how they do overall i don't know wipe test all right, look at my finger. I don't know if this is a good test. Clean finger, wipe test. Um, they both seem to have about the same amount of cleaning capability. Again, I like the smell of the React better. I like the look of the bottle. I like the way the Sonax applies. Um, this one seems to go on really easily. As you can see, the bigger bottle is usually a spray bottle, but this aerosol one was uh, pretty cool. This is a full effect version. Um, both work really well, don't get me wrong. Both of these wheel cleaners I think are great wheel cleaners. This one smells better. You can also use this one on your car. Both are good. This one's made in Germany. Here, this one's made in the United States. I'll have links down to both of these down below. And yeah, overall I think some good stuff. Okay guys, so now I think we gotta go to the platinum coated wheels. So we're gonna go to these VMRs real quick. Um, the front VMRs, we're just going to hit this with some water. I want to show you guys just what some water does with the ceramic coating. Again, I'm not going to use the power washer. I could use the power washer. I probably will use the power washer, but at first we're just going to hit it with the spray nozzle. You can see the wheel is uh, pretty dang dirty. I do not have an application of any sort of cleaner, all right? This is just the platinum wheel. As you can see, it's coming off pretty well, actually. You can see it come off pretty good um, for what it is. Obviously, I got some some grossness right there. Man, that's some, like, freaking tar or something. That's gross. So you can see the beading on the tires or on the wheels. It definitely looks really good with that platinum coating. All right, overall, that cleaned up pretty well. So you guys can look at that. So for this one, I'm gonna try to do my best to try to draw a line down the center. Again, we'll stay on the right with the Sonax. So I'm just gonna kinda try to stay on this side. 
and uh, use the Sonax. Ah, you know, I don't know if this is fully fair because I pretty much ran out, but now we use the uh, Platinum React wheel cleaner, the uh, Carbon Collective stuff. And yeah, I had a little bit more, obviously, of the uh, of this stuff to apply, so I don't know. I ran out of the other, basically. Sorry, guys. But I kind of wanted to show the difference, so React over here, Sonax over here. Definitely, this one turns a lot more purple. Um, it's definitely flowing off a lot better than this one. This one's kind of just bunching up, as you can see. Looking right down the middle here, this one's just kind of you know, kind of bunching up. It just kind of beat it together, probably from the wheel coating. Um, so that one I can see sort of drying a lot quicker than the React on the other side. So I'm gonna let that wait a couple more minutes and we'll hit that with a hose and see how it does. I know people wanted to see how the platinum wheel coating was working. So these, all of these wheels on this car are covered in the platinum wheel coating, this stuff right here. And as you can see, it definitely helps it uh, clean off. And as you saw on the other wheel, without doing any sort of wheel cleaner at all, it uh, cleaned off a lot of that brake dust very easily. So it's been a couple minutes now. On further inspection, you know, this was without any agitation at all. My finger looks really clean over there. Finger also looks very clean over here. So both products did a very good job. Um, I like the way the React coated a little bit better. Um, you know, let me let me know what you guys think, but I kind of like the way this one flowed. Yeah, I didn't have as much as this because I'm out, but I felt that this one flowed out a little bit better in the way it dispersed and kind of grabbed things. But overall, you can see the beating, you know, looks really good on these tires or on the wheels. Um, this side, Seems to have more of a beating effect, maybe? I don't know, I'm looking really close. See how this side's kind of like, it's kind of just like, doesn't have any beating. And this side has more of a beating effect. Like I was saying before, maybe they have some sort of, you know, ceramic type of stuff uh, that they put in here that helps with that. I'm gonna guess they do because that seems to be their like specialty. Um, so I kind of see that more on this side than I do on this side. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that, but this looks like it has a lot more beating here than over here. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wash the rest of the car. I hope you guys kind of like this comparison video. Again, I'll put links to both these products down below. Um, I was not paid to use any of these products or anything. It's just overall kind of what I thought. I think they both do a great job of cleaning. I think the Carbon Collective stuff definitely smells better. The Sonax looks cool. It's kind of cool because it has a two-colored thing. Packaging is definitely better on the Carbon Collective stuff. I'm going to kind of lean towards the Carbon Collective because I like the smell of it. And when I detail stuff, like I said, I really like the way stuff smells. But overall, both products are good. So make your own decision on that. All right, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Later. And wrench on. Well, you guys see those wheels right over there? Uh, they look really clean, so I definitely approve of uh, this video. Thanks for watching, and uh, hit that notification bell, okay, guys?